Okay, did you enjoy the prop journal? Okay. It was okay. Okay, what did you find okay about it? Um, I found um, I, I look forward to having the opportunity to add some and um, build some props. Yeah. Okay. And what did you make? Um, me and um, me and um, another person who built um, Nathan Celadon, but that kind of got um, last minute. It kind of got placed by Celad builders. Okay. So why did it change? Because the arm would be like really difficult to mow and then. And then um, it would take a bit more time, especially if you end, end up errors and yeah. What do you think you've learned from um, focusing on props? Um, I learned that how to make a good prop that's like simple and at the same time realistic, especially for student standards. Okay. And in terms of if we think of um, the actual prop making process aside, have you learned anything important about props in terms of short films? Yeah. What have you learned? I learned that like even the even the small in the prop that there's like a small, a short amount of time in the in the short film, then easier to symbolise the message. Like Good. Yeah. So the importance of actually thinking about props and mm -hmm. um, planning props, even if you're not making them, the importance of set design. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is something particularly in year one, I constantly used to say to you about you haven't considered the sets. Yeah. So do you feel like this unit now has made you think a bit more broadly about the fact that? You, Props need to be planned in detail. Yeah. Okay, so we've already discussed research, mm -hmm. um, and since you submitted the um, research portfolio, you haven't com completed any other research um, during the pre-production, post-production stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's really important to remember that research doesn't stop. So, although when we're doing our research portfolio, I'm saying to you, right, this is the research week. Mm -hmm. You have to remember that when you have decided that there is a market for your idea mm -hmm. and an audience for your idea, the next important point of research is production. So you need, there would have been opportunities when you could have researched things to help you with your actual production, mm -hmm. okay? So maybe more research into prop design or research into um, costumes or other props mm -hmm. that you was using within your production. Okay. So it's really important moving on that you remember that when we go on to these stages of production, even if I'm not saying research, you should have to be aware of the need for research and be doing that research when it's necessary for your group and your production. Okay. okay? Um, I just wanted to scroll down to your bibliography. Is that at the bottom? No, it's on the research page. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the actual um, way you've laid it out is really, really good. So it's completely, it's been hard with reference, it's well done. All you need to do now is put it in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. Okay, so according to surname, it goes in alphabetical order. So obviously Abbott's going to go right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so make sure next time that your um, bibliography is, is half reference as you've done, but also that it's A to Z. Okay, okay. so um, that was... That. Right, let's move on to pre production. Okay, so um, a very detailed and well written proposal, but you need to consider the use of subject terminology, terminology for structure. So, when you're talking about the narrative structure of your short film, mm -hmm. You need to make sure you're using those narrative structure words that you know, linear, non-linear, um, yeah. flashback, flash forward. Rather than just describing the synopsis and the storyline, the narrative structure, you need to be using that terminology. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, try to move beyond now just target primary target audience and think about who that secondary target audience might be mm -hmm. in terms of all of the systems of classification. So demographics, psychographics, social economic status, okay? So mm -hmm. not just the primary audience, but who else might your product engage or what target audience might you hit based on some of the things that you decide to include in your um, script and the production, okay? In terms of location, um, recce, So I've got a location recce for the TV studio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where else did you film? Corey Lovett's house. Right, so a house. Where's the location recce for that? Um, it wasn't my job, so... It wasn't your job? No. So then why is this one on here? I don't know. Um, 
I think somebody in that in the email that to me asked for them other location because it was obviously being added. Right, so which paperwork on here were you solely responsible for? I was responsible for the budget breakdown, the lighting plan, um the paint rich So this lighting plan was yeah. yours, okay. And what's this for? It's just for the film noir, lighting techniques. Yeah, but That's for which aspect of your short film? I can't think of either. So every single scene, was the lights were set up in this way? Yeah, but we didn't use the lights because it, it was like, um, during production, the lights were... The lighting kits weren't available, so... Right, but in terms of this stage, so this was just your plan, mm -hmm. are you telling me that every single shot in your short film demanded this lighting setup? Pretty much, yeah. No. Really? No. <laughs> every and single shot? Not every single shot, but they're most of them, basically. So, this tells me nothing. This doesn't no. tell me for what scenes it is. It, it tells oh, where the lights no. are, mm -hmm. um, but person, who's that? Is that... The detective, like it doesn't oh, actually okay. tell me anything. I wouldn't be able to pick up this lighting plan and go and film your production, okay? Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell me anything, mm -hmm. okay? So it's not a lighting plan, is it? Because no. all you've detailed me is how to do three-point lighting. You haven't told me how you're actually going to use that in your short film, mm -hmm. okay? Um, so that needs to be really considered. Okay. Props okay. list, was you responsible for the props list? No. Okay, so what else did you responsible for the budget? Yeah, the budget breakdown. Okay, so we've got a breakdown of all of the equipment that you was gonna need. Yeah. But what about everything else? Where's the the props? Oh no. Props. Okay, this isn't a complete budget breakdown, is it? It's only part of the production. So I'm gonna think that it's gonna cost one thousand one hundred and six pounds, but it doesn't. Okay, you also need to be thinking about comparing this to professional prices, okay, mm -hmm. rather than, so those prices come from the college, obviously, kit list, mm -hmm. but how much would it cost in industry to do that, okay? Um, the actual audition, okay, you was around for this? No. So where was you when this was happening? Oh, Corey decided it himself, but he did it on his own, so he just gave me the video. Okay, so you only should be putting up the pre-production paper that you are responsible for, because... Okay. Just placing an actual audition up there, that means nothing. What, what did you find out from that? What did you learn? Oh, okay. All it is is just a floating video. Okay? So your pre-production paperwork is really careless. I wouldn't be able to pick that up and go and make your short film. I wouldn't have a clue what to do with lighting. Your budget only covers half of the production. Okay? okay. Um, and the other thing you were responsible for was, was the talent release form. Yeah. Okay, so... You release as well, that's it. This talent release form is for David. Yeah. And what's all this? I don't know. Oh, someone gave me some. That's a risk assessment. Yeah. I was a bit more you, but. A bit more of a risk assessment. So, was there only one person in your whole um, production? No. So, where's the other talent release forms? Oh, yeah, there was one person. Actually, it was David and me. And so David's the only actor in the whole short yeah. film. There's no one else. Yeah, we don't plan to have that actors from the actors, but they didn't turn up, so we can't have those. Right. Okay. So it was just one person in the whole production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. You need to be thinking about the presentation of your website because when I've opened this document, you've told me I'm getting a talent release form. What I'm actually getting is a talent release form, a bit of a risk assessment, a bit of a location recce, and a map. Okay, it's not good enough. It's a second year. You need yeah. to make sure that you're thinking about what you're uploading and what you're labelling it as is actually what it is. Okay, you need to spend more time um, and consideration with that. Yeah. Right. Um, let's move on to the production. Okay, so um, the film has been edited well in places and you've applied a black and white filter to your footage. The this filter is effective due to the style of film you're trying to create, but at times, in particular at the end of the film, it's very dark and the brightness would need to be adjusted. There is a good variety of shots as the detective makes his way through the crime scene. Sadly, the oversight of hat distracts from the serious narrative. Overall, the pace is quite slow and a few faster cuts would have made 
it feel um, as if the film was more exciting. In one of your sequences, you have not cut out the director's cue of camera rolling and action. This is bad editing practice, and you should have picked on the plot up on this. Okay. As a second year student, there is no way you should have that in your final edit. Okay. Your film is lacking in background music. This would add a lot more depth to the film, um, as it feels unfinished without this addition. There are a couple of small gaps in the dialogue that you've missed. For example, when the detective's on the phone, his lips are moving, but no audio has been added. Okay. Was you aware of that? Yeah. Put him. I rushed it. No, get out! Okay. Um, you supported Corey and worked on the severed fingers prop. I know you had a lot of issues in the workshop initially working on a severed arm prop, but due to issues with the liquid latex, this did not work an effective method. Sadly, the severed fingers are not even in the film. Why is this? Oh. So why are the severed fingers, the prop, the whole idea of production was to make props that enhance your narrative. Why are they not in your final production? Oh, I kept rushing in. Okay. Rushing as a second year student should not be happening, okay? Because by now you should be so used to the process, okay? So, although the first project in the second year was heavily focused on prop, okay, the actual process of having a week to edit has always been the same. You always get a week to edit, okay? So, coming in on Thursday with all of your files here, there, and everywhere, not being able to locate certain files, it is not good enough for the second year student, okay? Submitting something where I can hear camera rolling in action is not good enough, okay? And having a final product which has limited background music and cut director cues, that's not, okay, that does not reflect somebody that's been here a year or two years in your case, okay? So you are going to have to resubmit your final edit, okay? Because you need to add background music, okay? And you need to remove the director cues, okay? There is no way as secondary students we can allow you to say that something that has cut or roll in is a pass because it's not, okay? First two projects in the first year, okay, you're learning. I appreciate you getting used to time management, you're getting used to how to edit, but not somebody that's been here a year, okay? So you're now going to have a week to resubmit the edit, okay? Right, so in terms of video evaluation, um, your overall evaluation covers the entire process, but you need to move beyond describing and you need to give details and examples to support the point you're making. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're telling me about something that was really good mm -hmm. in your final film, yeah. okay, other than your own opinion, how else would you know that is particularly good? Other people's feedback. Good, so the, the rough edit feedback, or if you manage your time better, a test screening feedback. Okay, so you'd actually know and you'd be able to give that feedback. Um, to use in your evaluation, okay? Um, but you need to make sure you take ownership and you and you have time to do that. And if you don't, that you put in your rough edit feedback, okay? Um, you just need to be better with your use of examples. So, um, improving my lighter skills much further in this unit. This was a missed opportunity because I didn't have any chance to use them. But I could definitely use some of my time setting them up and experimenting along and watching tutorials to find out what sort of effects I can create and which would probably end up being a useful in future productions. That's good because you're telling me exactly what you're going to do to improve. There's a specific example of that, okay? But that needs to be relevant throughout the whole evaluation, okay? Does that make sense, yeah? yeah? That then applies to your diaries as well. So rather than each day saying, we did this today, we did that, link your process to your outcomes. Mm -hmm. So in your diaries that led up to your edit, mm -hmm. I was even able to get a feel for the fact that you were behind on your edit and you were struggling with this, you were struggling with that, and what you were doing to rectify, what you were doing to problem solve, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't get any of that from your diaries. Mm -hmm. So then when you come in on Thursday and you're here, there, and everywhere with your, ed with your edit, you haven't been honest in your diaries and actually linked your time management to the fact that you are behind on the deadline. Does that make sense, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, so you need to use more examples in your reflection, okay? Um, in terms of the presentation of the website, okay, the website's well organised. Um, it's not particularly easy to navigate because you have to go back up here to be able to move to, to a different page, but compared to others in the class, there is that navigation element there, so well done. Um, the final edit button doesn't work, is this needed? So when you go onto your home page, oh yeah, the final edit will have to go. That doesn't work, okay? So you need to get rid of that because you need to think about the professional presentation of your website. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna assume there's something on there, 
okay? Um, diaries need to show your progress, so ensure they are placed within the work, okay? So the diaries are placed within the actual work rather than just bulked on at the bottom, okay? Um, in the pitch, your synopsis was not clear. Flashbacks, flashbacks should have been explained in greater detail, okay? So as a group, you stood up and you didn't really explain that narrative in great detail. Um, so you need to ensure your synopsis is well thought out step by step what is happening, okay? Um, in terms of problem solving, you worked well in post-production to ensure your edit was completed on time, but you seemed exceptionally organised um, and your clips need to be organised much, much better. You did not know what was here, what was there. No wonder why you submitted something which is a referral because it just wasn't organised better. And organisation is something that you really, really need to work on. Okay, because if we think back to your FMP, your time management, your organisation was really, really poor. Okay, if it wasn't for exceptional amount of tutor support, we would not have had a final animation, would we? Okay, we're now second year students. We've got to, got to sort this out. Okay, so your referral is for your final production. Okay, so you need to resubmit that um, by half four um, next Thursday. Okay, so you have to complete that in your own time, not in class time. You need to come in on your own time to to complete that. Okay. So if we look now, um, okay, so obviously as second years, okay, the work you completed in the first year was of a satisfactory standard, a high standard, a very high standard for first year students, okay, we're now second year students, okay, we're preparing to go to university, okay, so if we think about this one, context, okay, a final product which has no sound, okay, does not show me that you have a good understanding of subject context, okay? How many films have you ever seen on the in the cinema or on TV that have dips in sound or no sound or hear camera rolling, okay? So you've shown me an understanding broadly because all of the other elements, like the film noir element, the pace, the edit, largely you've been quite good at that. But you haven't shown me a good understanding because it's not consistent across the board, okay? In terms of research, okay, we need to make sure that you're considering research throughout the whole of the production. Your reference list is, is Harvard reference, as you've done, but in our A to Z, okay? And remember we spoke about stepping outside of just internet sources, okay? There's other types of research, not just the internet. Mm -hmm. That will help you to have more thorough and sustained research, but also the most important bit is you telling me what you found out, and how that's, how that's being used to inform and develop your ideas, okay? Mm -hmm. Problem solving, okay? You problem solve it, solved, obviously, with the severed arm, so it's sufficient, and we had the fingers, okay? But as a group, you were really slow in organising those locations, you were really slow in organising those actors and actresses, so you're not decisive, okay? You need to think about your timing. Um, in terms of planning and production, there is evidence of effective planning, okay, so um, you have considered your locations and um, risk assessments, etc, but is it coherent? No, because I could not have picked up that lighting plan and gone and done that myself, that didn't mean anything, okay. Practical skills were discussed, okay, it cannot be adequate if I have no sound, it's not adequate if I can hear camera rolling, okay. Mm -hmm. Presentation, it's competent, okay, because you stood up and pitched an idea which I understood broadly, okay, but is it confident? No. no. Is it consistent? No. No, okay. Evaluation and reflection, which I missed out. You see here, reason decision making to form and develop your ideas. Reason can't come just from your own opinions. What are other people saying to help you support the points that you make? Okay? So I'm going to put on Pro Monitor and set the target that you need to have your resubmission done by half or next Thursday, okay? So you can come in any time to get it done, like you've been coming into my year one lessons, you can sit and edit it, but you need to get it done. Now be aware, the wipe, the Macs have been wiped, so if you haven't got that file on your memory stick, you're going to need to rip that back off YouTube and re-edit the MP4, okay? Do you agree with everything that I've said? Yeah, are you sure? Do you see the areas that you need to improve on now? All right, okay. The second year is that much harder, okay? And I think some people have come into the first year, second year thinking, oh, it's just the same as the first year. It's not, okay? All right?